וזהו ויאמר לו יהונסון מחר חודש ונפקרת. And this is the meaning of and Yehonasan said to him, to David, <coughs> tomorrow is the ma- new, new month and you will be remembered. Perish Yehonasan Malash Matana. So Yehonasan is from the, the language of a gift. V'yesh b'shem z'egim l'osius m'shem havaya t'hainu yud kevav. And in this name, Yehonasan, there's three letters of the name Havaya, which is Yudke Vav, and, and Matana, Viratzon Lomar, and, and the intention is, B'Shem Zed, the Shem Havaya, Nitan B'Matana. That in the name, in, in this name of Havaya was given in a gift. B'Meore Or, Yud, Nun Dalid Yud Kevav Ziranbin. So in in the Maori or explains that the letters Yud Kevav correspond with the Za Nasan Gematria Tov Kuv Heachrona Behaka. And the last letter of Hashem's name, if you hit it against itself, it comes out to. 500. I mean, it's a type of gematria, haka, where you multiply something by itself. I guess it's uh, like yud times yud and hey, and k times k, vav times vav and k times k, and, and something, something like that. So it comes out to 500. So that's um, Nasan, which is the um, Gematria Tafkuf. Lahayam in Nasan Hanavi, and to awaken you to the concept of Nasan Hanavi, who was also David's Navi. It's also Gematria Tafkuf, which corresponds, of course, with Malchus, which is also the Nin of David. So Yud Kevav, is, I guess, is given to the Hay. The Ha'inyan, who in the concept is, Ki Yidua B'Divir Razal, that's known in the words of our sages, the call Matana Yesh Lehev Seik, that any gift is not forever, but it has an end. V'Kumavur B'Mesech Ebrachos, B'Nyan Abracha, Der Nasan Mechavodu L'Bas V'Adam Chulu, it's brought in the Gemara and Brachos about the blessing that he gave from his honor to flesh and blood, the concept of of, of a gift to flesh and blood is also a finite gift. Obir <clears throat> and, and uh, the the concept of olam uh, void by a king, perhaps the the gift Lodore doros to David maybe is different. But at any rate, to explain this liyos kimavur lamaila. Since we explained before, the Knesset is Israel, Hemarak Mekabli, Meshem Havaya, that the souls of Israel only are receiving from the name Havaya, the Torah Mitzvah Maisios, through um, physical uh, Torah Mitzvahs, Lihios Kia Torah, Vaham Mitzvahs Ari Hema Milubashim, Binyanim Gashmim. And since the Torah and the mitzvahs are enclosed in physical things, the noga of the klipas noga that you can elevate, should be bechinas olam apirud, but it's a concept of uh, the the klipas noga is still a concept of the world of separation that needs elevation. Like it says, and from there it separates. In the physical world, that's why this gift of Shem Havaya into Knesset Israel is called the gift the Yud Kev of Nasan. Yehonasan is like a gift that has an end, Hefseku Pirud, that the concept of Pirud and division is similar to the concept of Hefseik, of, of to stop and, and to divide. That it only goes to a certain point. That's the concept of a division instead of unity. 
Ish no and we can say Kia Tora, Nikra Toras Habriya, Likuti Tora, and we can say because the Torah is called the, the Torah of the world of Bria. Blukuti Tora Mahari Zalish Pashas Brish is Vikamush Kosabirush Al Toras Toras Hashlimaratanu. Like the Arizal explains in Pashas Brish is in this that it says an explanation of and on your Torah that you taught us. I guess the Torah of Atsilos that you taught us in the world of Bria, but or the Torah of Bria that you brought downwards. Blue could the Torah Pashas Ekev, Gam Kamosh goes Ramaz Pashas Brish is Daft Alar Sufam and Bez Vazelashono. Also, the Ramaz says, No, the key part is Mitakin Abia. It's known that the part of Torah. Shot Remish Drusso's Drusso fixes, rectifies. Atzilus Brits here see a sort of mintaki Atzilus. The concept of fixing the world of Atzilus. Pshat remesh remes drush mintaki biachulu. Ho sod mintaki Atzilus that the sod fixes the world of Atzilus. And pshat remesh remes drush fixes the world of Brits here see a. Ho see him how Arabic begins gimel kelim pnimim. And it adds light into the three vessels, the inner vessel, the inner, the middle vessel, and the external vessel. That is the Torah of the world, the worlds of Biyah. Imkain Shaykh Pered, Pshat Remez Drush, Gam Be'esek Torah, or Pered is, is Pirud. So Pshat Remez Drush are in the Olam Pirud, and they're the letters of Pirud. And the Sod is beyond the Pirud, but Umishami Parid, in the worlds of Biyatsiyasiya, you have Pered. So you can ha also have this Gambe Isikator, Ainush Aidezem, is Barad Olamos, Hanifradim. That through this, that's where the Torah elevates. The divided worlds. The Kamush Kazva Pasuk Vak Savim Hifri Yaakov, the Kuti Torah Pashas Emor, the Dibara Maskal, the Hini Fakorin, Osam Rish Perik Bez. Like it says about the concept of that the sheep were divided by Yaakov. Yaakov, a mam Sheikh Bechina Sak Savim, Mimakoma, Mimadrigosam. That Yaakov draws down the Savim from their place and their level. Shishamak Hashin Kodim Lebez, that they're on their level. That's why they're called Ksovim, not Kvasim. Because on that level, the Shin or the Sin comes before the Bez. Vnikra Kesev. And it's called the Kesev. You have the three Kavin. Mishamim, Shichim, Lamakom, Apirud. And from there, he draws them down to the world of division. Kadeshia, Nimshach. In order to draw down a state of nullification also in the world of division. And as is known also that the, the Yaakov is the concept of Tikkun. So to it says by the Malachim that their wings were divided. It's also the concept of the world of Biyat. And that's also the concept of this river. That it says that from there it divides and becomes four heads of rivers. That, that also corresponds with the four camps of the Shechina, the four different sides of of the Shvatim that camped around the Mishkan. But rather, but certainly, then there's a number of different levels in the concept of division and the Pshat Remes Drush of the Torah. That also the angels of the Merkava are called divided in comparison to the world of Atsilus. So that's also a concept of division, but not actually divided from godliness, because they're malachim after all, and the higher worlds. 
So you have an aval ekar apirut binoga chulo. But the main division is, of course, in the klipa and noga that needs to be elevated. The ekar aliyos and Hashem will So you have a, a division in Torah. You have a division in the olamos. You have a division in the malachim. And you have division in, in, in the noga. And the main elevation of the souls is through their descent into the world of division. That they should be drawn after you, to run after you, because they are far away. And to separate from the bad. From the period. And that's what it means, the neshama that you've placed in me, nasata, specifically to give, nifra, that you gave it to me, meaning to say that it should be divided and separate from you. I mean, like we explained, the concept of, of matana is, is that it's a hefsek. And first it was tohora, it was pure in the world of atzilus. And then you created a from nothing to something. That means you it, it became divided. That through this there'll be an elevation. And that's what it says in in Megillus Esther that the Jewish people are spread out and divided amongst the nations. That's also a concept of Pirud, the division amongst the nations. Has like the concept of that I sowed them for me like seeds, that's sowing them specifically in Egypt, Misham, from there, and that concept in that land which represents the concept of division as well. You'll have the sprouting forth of the nation. And this is what it means. And who is like your nation is like Israel, a one nation on the earth. Meaning to say that that's our voda to make echad ba'aretz to take that division and make oneness on the earth. That it should not remain in division. And like it says in the Maimur that here we are gathering sheaves by the dream of Yosef, that the concept of the brothers of Yosef, which are the Shvatim, which are the souls of Israel, and their different divisions are gathering and uniting and tying up bundled, bundles, so to speak, which is the concept of the Birurim of the Nitzutsus and so forth. But it says it in a way of making bundles and, and uniting. And they all bow down to Yosef, which is a concept of Aliyah and his Kalulus Lamaila and Tetzadik Elyon of Atzilus, which are the Shvatim, are the concept of the Yud Beis Guli Alochson that go down into the world of Bria. My Mashikas Valpazak Lamantis Grubinian Kesha Atzitis Betalis. Look what it says in another place on the verse, in order so that you should remember concerning the, the Tzitis and the not in the Tzitis and the Talis. Shitzarachlios Michutim Niferodi Matalis that. The strings of the tzitzis have to be separate from the talis and tied onto it. They cannot be part of it. That and also they themselves are divided into different strands. So the tzitzis are a concept of going down into olam apirud. Val derech zebetorah nikra torah shabal pe itzadas to vira. So too the the Torah is called the oral Torah is the tree of knowledge of good and bad. That's because it goes down into the world of division to purify the tree of knowledge of good and bad. And that's why that part of the Torah is called Pshat Remez Drush, is called the, the, the division within Torah. Look what it says on the concept in Maori or on the concept of the mountains of separation. Or like it says in the Zohar, Turi di Broda. Because Hari Basar is just the name of it in Shirashirim. 
but the Zohar is mefarish that basar is from the lotion for you vasar or some like the concept of brisa being a besarim the divisions. By much because minion be inyan call rav mi bavel rav lo shiach and look what it says that all rav came from bavel and and the, he's called rav because it's great. And his saving, so the concept of Babel also is Kisham Balal. It's the the division of the nations comes from Babel and, and the different and the different tongues and so forth. We part this erach haribisamim and also in part this on haribisamim the mountains of spices. I'm not sure what the definition is there. Min hanosi namatana. Um. I'm not sure where the beginning is here. Um, ah, back to the Kol Matana Yishlo Hefseik. And then this whole Hagar. What, because all gifts have 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 an end. I mean, I know Sina Matana from the one who's giving the gift. Why, why is there a half sake? Because it's given from the giver to the receiver and then the giver does not have a, a handle on it anymore because the one who receives it does what he wants with it. It's already divided from the one who's giving. Because it, once it was given to the receiver. And also the gift has a boundary and an end because it's divided from the one who's giving. That's why we give we make the bracha one of the first in the Gemara Lachua. That's why we make the bracha that he gave in the past tense. Because it's not a constant giving because there there was a half sake to it. Yuvan, with this we can understand Lamaski Lamaila with someone who understands above in the spiritual world, Binyan Ha'arashim Havaya, with the concept of the light of the name Havaya Bekinesis Israel into the souls of Israel, Bitoro Mitzvos. With the Torah mitzvahs that we do in this world of division, that this Shem Havaya that is called Yudke Vav, of, 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 that, that was given, that's given as a gift. Because it has a stop to it and a division from the one who's giving. Which is the concept of Shem Havaya Vatsilus. It comes down into the into the Olama period to affect the Olama period. Vizel in Havaya Havaya Psik Time Evi Nayu, and this is the concept of in the Yud Gimel Midos Rachamim. It says Havaya Havaya Kel Rachum Mechanon. There's a a Psik, uh, there's a time of Psik between those two names because there's this concept of Shem Havaya that comes down into period. We can say the Malach is called the name of Hashem that that's Shem Havaya that comes down into Ulam Apirud like it's brought in the Geras HaKodesh from the Ramban that sometimes the Malach is called the name Havaya even though it's the Malach speaking because he's completely bottled, but it's also a concept of the Shem Havai came down into the Olam Apir to speak to a Malach, so to speak. Vayim or, so to speak, literally. Vayim B'Torah or, Parshas Bo B'Dibar Maschil B'Etzim Etzim Hayom Hazeh. Look what it says in Torah, or about this very day, Tavkuf Amun Bez Shanavim Himshichu at Torah Matzilus Lebriya, Val Derech Zeh Ewen Yen Yehon Asunchu. That the Navim brought down the Torah from Matzilus to Bria, and similarly is the concept of Yehon Asun, Bringing down the Yudke Vav into the Olam Apirud Nasan. 
Af Shalom, which we said also was Tav Kuf, which is Hey Behaka. Af Shalom, which is the Ugam Kin Afresh bin Shabbos Rosh Chodesh. We can also say that this is the difference between Shabbos and Rosh Chodesh. Shabbos Shabbos Ali is Zun Batzilus Mamosh. Ran Shabbos, the elevation of Zan Nukva into Atzilus truly, Vam Shach Ayde Yosef. And you draw down through Yosef. So you go up from the world's of Yosef into Atzilus. That's the elevation of the Olam HaNifrod into the world of Atzilus, the Olam HaAchtos. You draw, and that's the Aliyah. And then the Hamshach is through Yosef, who's also, like we said, who's Ma'achid, the brothers. Look what it says about the concept of that Yehuda drew, drew close to him, to Yosef. But on Rosh Chodesh, it's, permiss- it's not like Shabbos in that it's permissible to do work. So it must be in the lower worlds, not in Atsilas. So it's in the lower worlds of Riyatsirasiya and Rosh Chodesh. And you're drawing down through your sort of Bria, and that's why Yehonasan is connected to the concept of Rosh Chodesh, because we're talking about Aham Shacha into the Old Mosan Ifradim. Yud Kevav Nasan into the. So it's a, it's a Giloi. It's Rosh Chodesh after all, but it's into the lower worlds where there's Mutubasis Malacha. Machar Chodesh, and you've got it. So Vayomer Lo Yehonasan. And that's what it means when it says that the soul, the nefesh of Yehonasan was tied to the soul of David. That the Kesher is, the Kesher is between Yisod and Malchus. We said Yehonasan is the concept of Yisod. And that's Yehonasan. The Yisod of Bria, Amshach of Yisod of Bria is the Giloi of Rosh Chodesh. And it's tied to the soul of David, which we, we know as Malchus. So Yisod, which is Yehonah's son, is tied to Malchus, Yisod together with Malchus. That's also the concept of that the love of Yehonah's son to David was greater than the love of Nashim. He doesn't say that here, but there's some kind of connection between this concept of that Yehonas and this concept of Yisod and David is Malchus. Like it says in Zohar, to tie knots, that's connected with this.